All right, I'm continuing to uh, get a lesson in sword play here on 1000 Brook Brookfield Road, and I feel like my first introduction to sword play was so good <laughs> that I should move into double swords. Okay, <laughs> Craig Shackleton, owner, head instructor here at Ottawa uh, Sword Play, tell me what you think. <laughs> Actually, the <laughs> motions speechless. are not too bad, Just but put it down. <laughs> yeah, put the sword, uh, put the sword away. Okay. Uh, the the important thing is that you keep moving if you've got two swords. But mostly, my, the system that I work with, they don't do that, and it's better to learn to use one sword well than before you start messing around with other things. I've uh, watched too there. many movies, clearly. A absolutely, absolutely, and we do see that sort of thing a lot in movies. There are historical techniques that do use two swords, but here, not so much. Gotcha. S all okay, right. so we started with the basics last time. It was left foot forward. That's correct. And then stepping in. Show me once. Show me. For, uh, will you do it once sure. so I can see how it's supposed Absolutely. to look? Absolutely. So the sword comes in, so it's pointed at the other person's face, okay. and then we step in to stab in the face. And of course, we're just stopping okay, so short like with this, that. So like this, and then Boom. stab. Exactly. And that's called an Oberhau, which just means high strike or over strike. Mm -hmm. The counter is the same action, but it actually has a different name. So if you bring the sword forward and step in to stab me in the face, yep. that's called a Zornhau, which means the wrath stroke or the angry stroke. Okay. Um, so that's our, our first basic counter to the Oberhau. Now, the next technique that we're going to learn is how to counter the Zornhau. This one's called Oben Abgenomen, which means taking away above. So if you do your Oberhau and your sword's pointed at my face, okay, go right so ahead. Step and, boom. Then, oh wait. and if I counter now with a Zornhau, mm -hmm. my sword's pointed at your face and I'm in a strong position you can't really push my sword out of the way but if you now bring your pommel and punch it in straight towards my face it will lift my point up above yeah bring this right in and step in towards me like you're gonna punch me in the face with the pommel right okay. there and really historically that's what they would sometimes do <laughs> if you can't reach me though that's all right okay. you can then cut around into my neck on this side so okay. that's sort of the next place that we want to go with that so okay. I'm gonna demonstrate that on you so okay. I do the overhaul so you do the Zornhau and step in with your Zornhau yeah. And then I come in with the pommel and uh, cut to the other side like that. Okay. So you're going to do that to, for, to me again. So Oberhau, go okay, ahead, so first strike. Stab, push. Boom. And you're going to come in with the pommel and, and cut to the other side. Excellent. Yeah? That was fantastic. Okay, let's do it once more. All right, sure thing. Okay, so ready? give me another Oberhau. Stab, poke. Stab, boom. And then pommel up, forward and, and there to the other side. That's right. <laughs> awesome. Now, of course, this is just one possible sequence. There are hundreds of techniques, and they can be put together in lots of different ways. Mm -hmm. So I have different options to counter the Zornhau. That's just one of the ones, but that's the one we usually start students with, and it's a lot of fun. Now, we're, we're watching a couple of your, your children here. Do you actually have classes for youth? I do. I have uh, a number of classes for kids. I have young knights. I have one class that's for 6 to 12 year olds and mm -hmm. another for 8 to 15. And then I also have a class called Warrior Princesses that is for girls who are 8 to 15 years old. Oh. And uh, that's actually right now my busiest kids class that I, I run. What so. would you do in Warrior Princesses? Well, we learn the same techniques that we do uh, with the longsword. We also learn spears and daggers and some other weapons. And uh, we mix up the learning the techniques with a bunch of games. So we'll have sort of battle games and uh, Protect the Helpless Prince is one of the games that we play. Oh, the, the roles are reversed. Is this a yeah. spear? This is what we use for spears. Of course, we don't uh, we don't want to use actual sharp or steel steel spears. So yeah, it's just basically a dowel with a padded tip on the end of it. And uh, when we use spears, we use the techniques that we would use against an armored uh, combatant. Okay, so I would hold it like so? That's absolutely right. And you'd be looking for weak spots in the armor, like in the armpit, boom, just like that, or right in the face. But again, we're going to stop short of uh, stabbing <laughs> in the face. You don't trust me now. <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I want to learn more with the spear. So in our next interview, I might just get you to uh, show me a few moves with the spear and maybe a short dagger. What do you think? Sounds fantastic. Perfect. Head to the website. In the meantime, we'll be, we'll be back with more later in the show here with Ottawa Swordplay. Play.